Today we will understand that building materials have changed over time and vary from one part of the world to another. Describe colors, textures, and patterns of architectural materials and create an architectural illustration that represents an ideal building type and shows a definite building material. Materials 12 by 18 paper, pencils and erasers, markers, and colored pencils. Throughout history, buildings were made from the materials that were available. These materials were easier to get and cheaper than buying something from a distance away. What building materials are most of the buildings made from where you live? Are they brick? Wood? Stone? Metal? What do you notice first when you look at a building? Do you notice what it's made of? Do you notice if the material has a pattern? At different times and in different places, people have used a variety of materials to construct houses and other buildings. What materials can you identify in the photos of houses? Architects think about the materials they want in a building. They think about the colors, textures, and patterns of materials on the exterior or outside of a building. What colors and textures have you seen in building materials? Architects must choose materials in relation to their cost and the way they conserve energy. What are some common materials for buildings in your town? Why are they used so often? For this week's project, you will decide what type of building you will draw and what material it will be made of. Sketch patterns and textures you see in different buildings. Find out why certain materials are used on the exterior of homes, schools, and other kinds of buildings. Include textures and patterns in your drawings that will help the viewer recognize the building material. Think about sustainability and employ what you know about energy conservation in designing your building and selecting building materials.